Good morning all. Today's class we will be dealing with psychiatric disorders after birth. So as we know that psychological complications that is there is postnatal blues, postpartum depressions, then puerperial psychosis. These three distinctive types are there in puerperium. So the incidence is 15 to 20 percentage postnatal blues, 10 percentage postnatal depressions, 0.1 to 0.2 percentage postpartum psychosis. The high risk factors are past history that is psychiatric illnesses then she may have puerperial psychiatric illnesses in past then the family history is the major psychiatric illnesses in family then some of the marital conflicts then present pregnancy that is cesarean deliveries then difficulty labors neonatal complications then others are unmet expectations next we will move on to puerperial blues a brief period of anxiety, mood swings and sadness. Puperial blues. A brief period of anxiety, mood swings and sadness which occurs in some women after delivery and usually results within a week is called puperal blues. So puperal blues are a brief period of anxiety, mood swings, sadness which occurs in some women and it will be subsiding after one week of delivery. Puerperial blues, it is a transient state of mental illness observed 4-5 days after delivery and it lasts for a few days. Nearly 50% of the postpartum women suffer from the problem. Manifestations are depression, anxiety, tearfulness, insomnia, helplessness and negative feeling towards the infant. No specific metabolic or endocrine abnormalities have been detected but lowered tryptophan level is observed. It suggests altered neurotransmitter functions. So the puerperial blues is a transient state of mental illness observed 4-5 days after delivery and it lasts for a few days. Nearly 50% of the postpartum women suffer from the problem. Manifestations are depression, anxiety, fearfulness, insomnia, helplessness and negative feelings towards the infant. No specific metabolic or endocrine abnormality have been detected, but lowered tryptophan level is observed. It is suggest altered neurotransmitter function. The symptoms are unprovoked weeping. So weeping means crying. She is not having any of the problems. Without any reason, she will be crying. Spikes of elation, irritabilities, anger, hostility, headache, feeling of unreality, exhaustion, sleep deprivation and restlessness. So the interventions are reassurance and psychological support by family members, social interventions relative babysitting so that the mother can get some sleep or assistance with the household course or providing instruction on newborn. So somebody should help the mother to sleep. So carrying baby or take care of the baby is done by somebody means Mother can sleep during that time. So, women with the previous history are likely to get in subsequent pregnancies. Next, we will move on to postpartum depression. So, definition. Postpartum depression or postnatal depression may seem like baby blues at first. However, symptoms are more intense and long-lasting, eventually impacting a mother's ability to care for her baby. So, postpartum depression so it is a it seem like a baby blue only at first however symptoms are more intense and long lasting eventually impacting a mother's ability to care for her baby she is not at all able to take care of her baby and usually in postpartum blues it will be subsiding after four to five days but in postpartum depression the intensity will be more and it will be long lasting so the onset is onset can be any time one year after delivery and it lasts more than two weeks. The incidence is it is observed in 10 to 20 percentage of the postnatal mothers. Risk of recurrence is high that is 50 to 100 percentage in subsequent pregnancies. The causes are demand overload or specific etiology is unknown. Some of the contributing factors are experiencing stress. Then she may have low self-esteem, lack of support, stress associated with postnatal care, severe maternal blues, 
demands of motherhood and loss of personal freedom some of the risk factors are problems with baby's health major life changes around the time of delivery lack of support or help with baby severe premenstrual syndromes the risk factors are problems with baby's health major life changes around the time of delivery lack of support or help with baby and severe premenstrual syndromes clinical manifestations are loss of energy loss of appetite insomnia social withdrawal irritability suicidal attitude anxiety excessive guilt depressed mood and fatigue so the clinical manifestations are loss of energy she may feel loss of energy then she don't have any of the appetite then she is unable to sleep that is insomnia she will be socially withdrawing irritable thoughts suicidal attitude then she is having the anxiety so excessive guilt depressed mood and fatigue the diagnosis is history collection then edinburgh postnatal depression scale can be used then medical histories perform physical examination and lab test so the edinburgh postnatal depression scale it is a 10 uh, question scale and there will be scores for each statement will be there then according to that uh, the mother is getting the score that is 10 or uh, above it is considered as she is prone to get anxiety if the mother score is 13 she is pure, uh, surely have a mild depressions so the management is early detection and inhibition of appropriate treatment brings best prognosis less severe cases can be treated with mild sedation or antidepressants then counseling involvement of spouse and other family members more severe cases admission is necessary fluoxetin or paroxetin serotonin uptake inhibitors breastfeeding also can be given to baby so the main management are early detection and initiation of appropriate treatment brings best prognosis less severe cases can be treated with mild sedation or antidepressants counseling can be given for the mother then involvement of her husband or partner and other family members in care then more severe cases means admission should be done then fluoxetin or paroxetin that is uh, serotonin uptake inhibitors can be given then breastfeeding also can be given to baby so that is regarding the puerperal anxiety and depressions so other things will be dealing in next video hope you understood please share to your friends also thank you